Hey guys, welcome back to LPLR Orchids. Quick update, um, the um, Catacetum group, uh, the Catacetum Orchids that we're trying to grow here at LPLR, uh, learning with this genre and this type of orchids. These are not all true Catacetums. Um, only this uh, bigger one here in the red pot is uh, actually a species. And this is Macroglossum. Uh, let's see if we can get the tag. Yeah, Catacetum macroglossum. So that's the only true Catacetum. We have a couple SVO uh, Fred Clark Yaras, SVO Black Pearls. That's these two here. Um, and then a couple hybrids uh, over here together in this little pot here. Um, so yeah, a couple of, it's interesting how different their growth habit and the leaf shape. Like one's super broad and round leaves and one's like kind of spiky leaves. So pretty cool how um, different they are. However, uh, now that we've started watering and fertilizing, we are watering almost every day now. Um, try to give it a really good drink and then drain them really well so they kind of dry out in the evenings and I don't know that it, it seems to be doing well for them and we have been fertilizing them at about twice the strength that we normally fertilize the rest of our orchids and um, we do that much more frequently so almost every watering where the other orchids it's usually every other week for fertilizer uh, or thereabouts so yeah, they seem to be doing really well out here. They get a couple hours of direct sunlight, but it's at the hottest part of the day, which kind of worries me, but so far they seem to be doing okay. And then through most of the day, you can see they get this kind of streaky mottled sun that comes through the cracks in this like little barrier wall on our balcony. Uh, but have noticed already this summer we have some light damage. So, yeah, that's, I mean, something we, you know, we try to keep an eye on. But with these guys, even inside, uh, for the last two years we've had them, we've always gotten light damage. It's just like, can't even see them. They just come out of nowhere. Um, and they're almost, it just seems like they're impossible to fight on these particular plants. But we're going to see, uh, we're going to keep going, keep watering and fertilizing and trying to keep the bugs at bay, but hopefully we get some flowers. That's our goal. And a quick bud watch. Um, we're going away for a couple of weeks uh, to visit family. So hopefully our uh, housekeepers and house caretakers can send us some pictures of these. This is the Germain Vincent, Eolacea alba, crossed with Speciosa coffee. Let's see if it'll speciosa coffee so yeah germaine vincent is this particular cross it's about to bloom which we aren't gonna see i mean it should bloom for a while so it'll probably still be blooming when we get back and then of course the um the one that's been really giving us struggles it's finally blooming for the first time in over two years that we've had it it was kind of a seedling when we got it is Corningiana coffee crossed with Speciosa coffee. So two Speciosa hybrids here. And yeah, they're both coming into bloom again. This one is also carrying a seed pod, but both growing new leaves already this spring. And yeah, looking good, although dusty. I need to give them their spring cleaning bath. Anyways, thanks for checking in, guys, and we will see you back here at El Pilar soon. Have a good one.